Now to the man of the hour. Uh, I can't even believe I get to sit down with you. I've been a big fan for a long time. Mr. Spencer Rice. I don't even know how to describe you because you got so many titles. You're a comedian, musician, director, actor, writer. Producer. Producer. Kind of a creative idiot. jack of all trades. I don't think you're an idiot, but. Um, you know, it's been hard on my career, believe it or not. When I was in Los Angeles, uh, I would go meet with, to try to get representation. And we were actually on Comedy Central with Matt and Trey from South Park producing. Yeah. And I couldn't get representation and I couldn't figure it out. So this guy I knew who was just sort of the, the Hollywood genius wizard guy who just understood the town and how it worked. And so he would say, well, tell me what your pitch meetings are like when you go meet a potential manager or an agent. And I would go in saying, I'm all those things. And he said, well, that's right there the problem. They don't know who you are, what you are. You're all over the fucking place. You know, yeah. they want the, the big titted blonde girl to come in. So this can, is what I do. Yeah. That can pay a cheerleader or, you know what I yeah, mean? Yeah. Yeah. Um, Dude, I can relate to that completely. I, I dabble in everything. I, I'm doing stand up one week and doing this show and then I'll do a bit of acting. I, I don't know. Sometimes I think I'm afraid to commit or something to one thing, you know? No, I don't know. I just, I, to me, it's just my creative journey. And um, at this point in my career, I don't think I'm going to ever blow up to be, you know, a huge star so i might as well do what makes i would me consider you a big star but maybe that's because i'm a, a canadian i don't know how you guys fare on the rest of the planet but. i don't i don't see myself i don't think there's a star system in canada almost to canada's credit but um that's know. true but look uh, the show was i would say was a cult more than a, a mainstream mm -hmm. kenny versus benny kenny versus benny we should say for anyone who doesn't know yeah. who you are from that you are one half of the infamous duo mm-hmm uh, Canadian comedy show ran from 2003 to 2010, I believe. If there's a uh, a brain scan and there's a part of my brain that is supposed to be responsible for chronology, it would be a big black hole. Oh, so really? I don't know. I, I it's I, I've never read about it being a, a real disorder, but I don't know time. Like I don't. Really? I can't tell you if something happened five years ago or ten years ago, basically. So that's all long term memory then, because you're great. I mean, you have to have time to play music, and you're obviously good at that. So your yeah. short term's all right. Yeah, I don't even think it's memory. It's timeline. It's chronology. I can remember. Weird. I just don't know when it was. Huh? 